What's up everybody, Kinetic here and welcome back to The Division. It's been a while and I want to talk about Update 1.6. Update 1.6 is going to be a free patch, but there's also going to be expansion number 3 that is a DLC and of course is included in the season pass called The Last Stand. Now The Last Stand is going to include a new PvP mode for players that are interested in that and is also going to add a whole new incursion. But patch 1.6 is a completely free update that is going to include so much in itself and is almost like a separate deal compared to the Last Stand DLC. This is going to drop at the same time I believe for PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Before I get into the details of Expansion 3 and the Last Stand DLC, as well as Update 1.6, I do want to remind everybody out there that I've got a brand new sponsor right now. SCDKey.com is supporting this channel and helping me to afford new games, season passes, and stuff like that. So hey, I have as much cool content, and fresh games, and stuff like that at my disposal to bring to you guys new and awesome content here on the channel. Definitely check out the link in the description of this video. They sell a lot of really great games at extremely low prices. One of the biggest things for Dark Zone lovers is going to be what's been dubbed the Northern Front. This is going to add Dark Zone areas 7, 8, and 9, which have been described as as big, if not bigger, than the entire Dark Zone as it has existed, including a lot of now verticality that is going to uh, add a whole new kind of dynamic, I think, to PvP battles. And these areas are so huge, the, the three being added, that uh, players in, within these zones might find themselves kind of a bit more spread out and there's kind of some mixed feelings about whether this is good or whether this is bad uh, for PvP or just for uh, the Dark Zone in general, but uh, I think time will tell. I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, it sounds like they're putting a lot of effort into making these areas look and feel even more desperate and dark and like just really, really grim compared to the, uh, the existing Dark Zone areas. There's also something being added to the Dark Zone now called Landmarks, and Landmarks sound a whole lot like high-value target missions from the way that they're described here. It says, quote, The new Landmarks can have multiple waves of enemies spawning after you've killed the initial NPC enemies. Clearing Landmarks will now award you with additional loot placed directly into your inventory, bypassing the need to extract it, end quote. So yeah, kind of like you get onto the scene of an HVT, you've got a certain amount of, of NPCs waiting to be uh, taken down there, and then there's like th three more waves basically after that, right? That sounds exactly like HVTs, but now there's a Dark Zone version of it, and that sounds pretty cool. I mean, the more ways that they can throw in new twists and features into the Dark Zone, I think the more exciting and interesting it gets. I think the, the supply drops for example when they first introduced those was a really cool new feature and a reason to hustle to a particular point to destroy some enemies and hopefully not get destroyed by other players at the same time it's pretty exciting and i think landmarks are going to do something similar to that Here's also something that sounds pretty awesome and also kind of nasty at the same time. We've got contamination events. Contaminated body bags have been piled up in parts of the subways below the dark zone, increasing the strength of the virus in those areas. The cleaners have started sweeping these locations, burning everything in their path, including civilians who happen to get in their way. That's how it says here as the description for it in the, uh, the news article I'm reading here. And it continues, roughly every hour elite cleaners will appear in underground locations in the Dark Zone, and it's your job to stop them. A word of warning though, the contamination has reached unprecedented lethal levels in these places, so your virus filter will not be enough to resist it. Act quickly and learn how to manage your health while venturing into the contaminated underground. So this sounds really intense. It's like survival mode cranked up to 11. It sounds really, really awesome. And I hope that um, the rewards in these contaminated areas uh, is equally as good for uh, for the risk that you're taking. I w what I would really like to see from this is not just body bags. I want to see freaking gore down there. Like, <laughs> I want it to look like it's absolutely disgusting down there with like some of these body bags, like maybe leaking like bodily fluids and stuff like that. That would oh my god that would be so sick but at the same time so awesome next up a highlight i think also for the dark zone is now there are going to be 
Dark Zone leaderboards. I'm honestly surprised that they haven't added something like this from the very beginning. It seems kind of late now here in Expansion 3 and Update 1.6, but hey, better late than never, I suppose. It says here, the activities tracked are divided between PvP and PvE. For PvP, they include rogues killed, manhunts survived, and extractions hijacked. For PvE, we'll be tracking activities like NPC enemies killed, lock chests looted, and items extracted, end quote. So that's pretty cool. I like the way that they've included a, a balance of both the PvP side of things, like rogues running around and rogues getting wrecked, uh, as well as PvE content like elite bosses getting taken down and stuff like that. It sounds really, really cool. By the way, if you're wondering uh, if I'm going to be doing any more Rogues Get Wrecked videos, and I know somebody's going to ask it in the comments section, I will be keeping an eye and seeing if I can possibly find enough clips to do another Rogues Get Wrecked video, or maybe just continue with the series in general, but as I've said in the past, it's gotten really hard to find good clips, and um, so it's therefore difficult to put the videos together, but I'm trying guys, give me some time, I'm going to see if I can find some good stuff for you. All right, let's talk about some PvE stuff now. We've got a now legendary difficulty that is going to be added to the game. That's right. So if you thought uh, the hardest of the hard could be reached for the uh, the big story missions, like for example, Times Square, Warren Gate Power Plant, Napalm Production and stuff like that, I guess again, there's now going to be a legendary difficulty of these game modes, which sounds absolutely insane the most challenging it says here content in the game and is intended for organized groups so basically the the the, the kind of coordination that you would need in order to take on incursions on hard difficulties and stuff like that is seriously what you will need as well for these legendary difficulty modes. I do not think this is gonna be fun to do in pickup groups. Here's another thing they probably should have done a long time ago, and they're now doing an update 1.6. Named weapons and gear have been given their own type. They are now called exotics. Congratulations, The Division. You finally made your own category for exotics. <laughs> It says here, each exotic weapon has been given its own unique talent if it didn't already have one. The Hungry Hog, for example, will now come with the Glutton talent. Killing a target increases your damage dealt by 20% until you stop firing. <laughs> a Glutton indeed. That's actually a really, really uh, cool talent. But uh, this, I, I hate to... I hate to sound kind of pissy, but yeah, this should have been done a long time ago for uh, for this game and these weapons and stuff like that. Uh, better late than never, I guess, though, right? Um, you know what's funny, though, is it seems like it, you know it is late to be making all of these changes and stuff like that. Here, we're, we're winding down to the, the last DLC uh, of the season pass and stuff like that, but uh, rumor is that they're going to treat the Division the same way that they're treating, for example, uh, Rainbow Six Siege. They're going to add a year two content uh, season uh, pass, for example, and I believe For Honor is also more than likely going to get the same treatment, especially in the way that they word it when they say year one content. So ex I'm really expecting to see a year two content rollout for the division. Expect to see like three or four new DLCs, who knows what else, maybe announced all wrapped together in a, a year two season pass for the division. Now there is a ton of other things that are being uh, adjusted, for example, with various weapons and gear sets, lots of balance changes, uh, also to the way armor and resistances work. It looks like they're going to be making some changes to, uh, to spice that up. And uh, what's also going to be interesting is that, for example, the armor and resistance uh, changes are going to be completely retroactive, according to the way that I'm reading it here. So. Uh, it says here, armor has been removed as a major bonus and replaced with health. Gear still comes with base armor and some talents will still give bonus armor. So if you're rolling with really good gear right now, you shouldn't have any problems uh, with uh, needing to farm entirely new gear, it seems, because it says here all changes are retroactive, which is, uh, is a big relief, I think. There's also going to be some big changes, it seems, to skill power and skills. So a big shift, maybe, is coming to uh, to the meta PvP balancing as well. So it seems they've got big plans 
for rebalancing pretty much the entire uh, meta. Uh, for both PvE, the way gear works, PvP, and the way you know action takes place there. There's also a bunch of other things, for example, uh, changes to the economy. They've got, uh, for example, now unlimited recalibration has been introduced. The price increases each time, capping out at five recalibrations. So, hmm. Uh, helping civilians rewards intel. High-end pistols in survival no longer cost division tax. Scavenger box now scales with world tier. Some item prices have been tweaked. The list goes on. There's apparently some new emotes and weapon skins and vanity items that are going to be introduced to the store. We've got a section here talking about other changes. All activities, open world, underground survival, and last stand will reward and have their own separate experience points. Hey, I'm all for it. The more ways that we can get gear, the better. So there you go. There's a quick and dirty rundown of what's coming up in patch 1.6 which again just to reiterate is a completely free patch everything that i just mentioned aside from the the last stand game modes which is uh, a new pvp mode and also a, a new incursion everything else that i mentioned there including the new dark zone uh areas the the new uh, landmarks and all of that stuff pretty much that i mentioned in this video is completely free which is pretty freaking sweet uh, the division has had a rough ride. It's, it's been quite the roller coaster since uh, since launch. The division has become one of, if not my favorite, looter shooter. Uh, even better than Borderlands, in in my opinion. I've had a lot of fun with Borderlands. Don't get me wrong, Borderlands 2 and stuff like that. But the division has definitely gotten really, really good over time. Now, finally, and uh, if they are. Uh, really serious uh, about these rumors with uh, a whole year two uh, season pass and you know planned content and stuff like that then what we could see is finally now in the next year here in 2017 the team really build on what it has become a really good foundation for uh, gameplay and loot hunting and stuff like that here in the division but that's gonna wrap it up for now until then let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below click the like button to support the division here on the channel and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video don't forget to check out my new sponsor scdkey.com link is in the description you guys support them they support me i support you guys back it goes around full circle Thanks again for watching, this is Kinetic, and I'll see you next time.